Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Diri Zariana Fatorohma And I'm student in University State of Surabaya And I'm from Mathematic Education Department So today I will presentation about focus and how to increase your focus In my presentation today, I will discuss three points about focus So the first one is what is the focus? The second one is why can I focus and the third one is how to increase your focus. So, in my presentation today, first I will present this, present my slide and when you guys have any questions, let me know the question every time I finish explaining this slide, okay? Okay, let's next to the first point. First point is what is the focus? In order to concentrate on one thing, you must, by default, ignore many other other things. In order to concentrate on one thing, you must, by default, ignore many other things. Okay? Here's better way to put it. Focus can only occur when we have said yes on one option and no to all other options. In other words, elimination is a prerequisite for focus. As Terry, as Tim Ferry says, what you don't do determines what you can do. What you don't do determines what you can do. Of course, focus doesn't require a permanent no, but it does require a present no. You always have the option to do something as later. But in the present moment, focus requires that you only do one thing. Focus is the key to productivity because saying no to every other option unlocks your ability to accomplish the one thing that is left. Now, for the important questions, what can we do to focus on the things that matter and ignore the things that don't? The next point is why can I focus? Most people don't have trouble with focusing. They have trouble with deciding. Remember, is most people don't have trouble with focusing. They have trouble with deciding. What I mean is that most healthy human have a brain that is capable of focusing if we get the distraction out of the way. Have you ever had a text that you absolutely had to get done? What happened next? You got it done because the deadline made the decisions for you, right? Maybe you procrastinated beforehand, but once things became urgent and you were first to make a decision, you took action. Instead of doing the difficult work of choosing one thing to focus on, we often confuse ourselves that multitasking is better option. This is ineffective. Remember, is multitasking is ineffective. Technically, we are capable of doing two things at the same time. It is possible, for example, to watch TV while cooking dinner or to answer an email while talking on the phone. Multitasking forces your brain to switch your focus Back and forth very quickly from one text to another. This wouldn't be a big deal if the human brain could transition seamlessly from one job to the next job, but it can't. So multitasking is not a better option, okay? Next slide is the story from my experience. So when I was in elementary school, I got Islamic history subjects. And teachers who teach this subject always ask me or their students to clean their decks from various objects, such as book, pencil, and pencil case, and the others. After finishing cleaning the table, then the teacher delivers the material. At the end of the lessons, the teacher will usually ask some question to his students about today's material. From that way, as a student, I can focus on the teacher who is explaining the material without being distracted by the objects on the table. 
So, I can focus to my teacher and that is the point I deserve to you guys. Okay, let's move on to the next point. The last point is how to increase your focus. Let's talk about how to overcome our tendency to multitask and focus on one thing at a time. Of the many options in front of you, how do you know what to focus on? How do you know where to direct your energy and attention? How do you know determine the one thing that you should commit to doing? So, the answer is Warren Buffett's tool's strategy for focused attention. One of my favorite methods for focusing your attention on that matter and eliminating what doesn't come from the famous investor, investor Warren Buffett. It's called Warren Buffett's tool's strategy for focused attention. Buffett used a simple three-step for productivity strategy to help his employees determine their priority and actions. You may find this method useful for making decisions and getting yourself to commit to doing one thing right away. Here's how it works. One day, Buffett asked his personal pilot to go through the three-step exercise. So the first step is... Buffett started by asking the, the pilot named Mike Flynn to write down his 25 career goals. So, Flynn took some time and wrote them down. Uh, you could also complete this exercise with goals for a certain timeline. For example, write down the top 25 things you want to accomplish this week. And the uh, step 2, Buffett asked Flynn to review his list and circle his top 5 goals. So, from the 25 goals, he is asked to frame, to review his list and circle his top 5 goals. Frame took some time, made his way through the list, and eventually decided on his 5 most important goals. So, you know what you have to do, right? And uh, step 3, at this point, Flynn had to list the five times he had cycle where is A and the 20 items he had not circles where list B. Um, Flynn so confirmed that he would start working on his top five goals right away. And that's why when Buffett asked him about the ones you didn't circle, Flynn replied, well, the top five are my primary focus, but the other 20 come in a close second. They are still important. So I will work on this intermittently as I see it. They are not as urgent, but I still plan to give them a, ded a dedicated effort, said Flynn. To which Buffett replied, no. You have got it wrong, Mike. Everything you didn't cycle just become your avoid at all cost list. No matter what, these things get no attention from you until you success with your top five. So, Buffett's method says that you must focus on your cycle. If you have done on your cycle, you can start focus to the big cycle. So the, the method first you to make hard decisions and eliminate things that might be good use of time but aren't great use of time. So the conclusion on my presentation today. Uh, first one is focus is in order to concentrate on one thing you must by default ignore many other things. And the second one is uh, most people don't have trouble with focusing. They have trouble with deciding. And the last one is, you have to determine what is, what is your priority and what is additions. Okay?
Finally, we come to the conclusions. Uh, do you have any question, honey? Mm, not yet, miss. Mm, okay, if you don't have any questions, I think that's all from me. If there are many mistakes in the delivery, please forgive me. And if you guys have any questions, please text me on lirizeliana at gmail.com. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.